Welcome back to Newsier here on the Raj News. Now joining us to review some of the headlines of today's newspaper from around the world are our Raj News analyst Imano Lafine and Dayo Shubali. Good to have you. Good afternoon, Aaron. Good, 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 good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon, Cynthia. The amazing Cynthia. Good afternoon, Dayo. Good afternoon. We'll start the review with this day, Nigeria's newspaper of record. We'll start with the lead story, Presidency. We are not operating two versions of 2024 budget, says Ningi raise on unsubstantiated claims of, of course, to fuel divisive rhetoric. Declares Tinumbu government not anti not equitable to all. Senate debates budget padding behind closed doors. Appropriation panel meets. Northern senators move against colleague, Senator Abdul Nengi, over the weekend, raised dust, alleging there are two versions of the budget, talking about budget padding and all that. But um, what the president sent to the National Assembly was a budget of a 27.5 trillion naira. And by the time the budget was passed into law, uh, it became one, it became um, 27, no, the, the, the Senate or the National Assembly, better still, added 1.27 trillion to bring it to 28.7 trillion Naira budget. So which budget is Thingy talking about? Well, Ningi is being mischievous. And he went and on he BBC been, House and Service to make that To comments. do that, it is political mischief. I don't know how they do it, but it should be called to order. You see, the word party in itself is pejorative. You get me? Yeah. Uh, we know the budget has been padded in the National Assembly, which is bad enough. Now, for somebody who was in that same National Assembly to come and say that uh, uh, they are still using something padded, it's been mischievous. And then to link that to Northern uh, uh, discrimination, it is just not on. It's mischief. And His party should call him to the order, and, just like government has done. And he's the chairman of the Northern Senators Forum. That's right. He has politicized it. No, this is ethnic politics now. We should be called to order. Well, the uh, Senate Appropriation Committee met yesterday. That's right. And um, behind closed door anyway. And they did not brief the press. They said until... They the, should call him to Until order. plenary, Senate plenary discuss the issue tomorrow. That's when they will make their views public. I'm sure uh, Senator Ningi will be called to order tomorrow mm -hmm. at plenary. Um, well, if he thinks he has some facts, then he, he has to then go to the court. Why did he have to go to the House of Service of BBC? <laughs> Look, it has, it, he has uh, politicized it, ethnicized it. You get me? Yeah. And uh, it should be called to order. We do not need such divisions now. We do not need, not I, at I, that level. Yeah, I agree yeah. with you. Well, yeah. of course, the Daily Sun has that story. Also, yeah. budget padding, Senate split. Senators out to get to root of matter. Allegation, baseless, false, mm -hmm. says presidency. Yes, and the, of course, the Nation newspaper reporting that story. Presidency slams senator over budget padding claim. Now, the Punch newspaper, schools in 14 states, FCT, risk attacks, says federal government. Adamawa, Bochi, Borno, Casina, FCT, others affected. 465 pupils, women in kidnappers den. Federal government receiving U.S. support to free victims. Presidency alleges sub-regional forces mm -hmm. behind kidnappings. Well, mm -hmm. over well, the weekend... It is apparent, it is apparent uh, Boko Haram is uh, winning over his slogan, no to Western education. Yes. That is what is happening now. Because parents uh, are even afraid to send their children to school now. And you see, it is mainly in the north. And you know the north is close to the Sahel. Yeah. And uh, so when they say it's regional uh, forces, forces behind. They, meet, they meet jihadism. That is just the long and short of it. 
And government has to sit down and find out to deal with it. Well, government has to sit down and well, find a solution. In the in the heydays of the Boko Haram, you see mm -hmm. when they align with ISWAP and all that. Mm -hmm. But what has been happening in the Northwest recently is crass criminality of people who want to make money from kidnapping and continue making money and enjoying their money inside the forest. Look, uh, abduction. Yes. You get me? Abduction is part of, you know, trying to force people into their own faith. It is the money from the abduction mm -hmm. that they use to finance this. But we are talking of schools now. Yeah. That's, uh, kidnapping, closing schools. That has a meaning. And the, 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 the champion of that has already been Boko Haram. So it means Boko Haram is still acting, or is going by another name. But whatever it is, it is still, it is still active on the ground. On the ground. Okay. That's it. Of course, the and North government is tackled that. the most educationally backward part of the country. And with this apparent threat mm -hmm. to education, then want to close the, school. the situation is just going to get uh, it's, worse. We just get and worse. there are so many That's government all. secondary schools in the in the entire north. Yeah. So you can imagine what there is. People want to go to school, yeah. but not in this condition. Okay, let's look at Vanguard newspaper. Business suffocating as energy costs shoot skywards. Up 41% to 635 billion naira. It's second biggest problem after forex. Moda Yusuf, high energy costs, crippling operations, Okomo Oil MD, 98% rise in our selling distribution expenses due to diesel cost, Boa Foods, the cost of energy. Electricity, problem. And People are buying diesel. Multiplier effect. And transporting Oil goods across the country is huge costs. Well, that's another review and a lot that the government still has to fix. But for now, we'd like to thank you gentlemen for your review as always. Mr. Emmanuel Feni, Mr. Daishabuai, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Here on Newsday. Thank you.